So we'd spend an hour this hour with Dr. Chapelon. He is uh, standing by down in Oz right now where things are not as good as they might be by a long shot. In fact, uh, some people say they're even worse than they are here in some ways. Uh, At any rate, hello, Joseph. How are you? And welcome back to the program. Hello, Jeff. Uh, I'm well. Thank you for having me. My pleasure. Where are you? Where are you right now? Uh, in that little town called Stanford in Queensland, as you remember, I told you that certain classifications of consciousness were removed from the planet. Yes. The, the theomorph, a billion theomorphs. Yes. Now, everyone laughed. And, and then I said, now we're in the age of the, the shells. And that's exactly what we're finding now. They're all just robots, empty shells. Um, they, you know, I've said, uh, Joseph, many times, and I think I, I may have first raised the issue with you and asked you what your thoughts were about this, but it does seem to me that an awful lot of people uh, walking and talking and looking like humans are actually uh, without what we would call a soul. Now, I, defining soul is something that is, is not easily done, but these people are lacking something uh, very substantial, uh, very intrinsic to being what we call humans and I, I'm not sure what it is but it might be a soul it might be something else but we are looking at a, a zombie nation and a zombie world that's correct that's correct now look in, in one of the earlier shows I told you that this thing this planet was being finalized and that the Jehovah principle which is the mechanism from this evil era that arose that was controlling everything with programming had been dismantled. Therefore, if the controlling mechanism called Jehovah has been dismantled, everything would go out of control. And that's exactly what's happened. All these robots and demons were programmed by the Jehovah principle, the Jehovah mechanism. Now that mechanism is finished. So these are like um, out of control puppets. Mm -hmm. And they're going to self-destruct. That's what they always do. Mm. Um, we should start from the beginning, actually. Sure. Uh, when we took out the, uh, the billion uh, uh, theomorphs, the ones made with the real light within, when we evacuated them in 99 in preparation for the destruction of the planet, all that was left were three classes of beings, of consciousnesses, and they were all false consciousnesses. They can't exist outside of this false dimension. We're living in an, an illusion that is about is almost totally destroyed. It's 94% destroyed. Now, the three classes are, this is going to sound very strange to people, but if they go back from the books that I wrote from 85 onwards, everything mm-hmm. follows, and everything that I've said has uh, occurred exactly like what I've said. Right. Now, the three consciences were, there's a demonic class, 30%, 31% are now demons in physical bodies. These physical bodies are just cardboard boxes. They're uh-huh. just shells. And they have these false mechanism in, and they're controlled by programming, pollution, and indoctrination that I've explained in detail in my books. There is, now, uh, Joseph, this, I, if I might add to that, there is an incredible amount of control of masses of uh, walking and talking humanoids on this planet. Uh, control yes. primarily through the the use of uh, EMF, uh, ELF, microwave radiation. We are electrical beings first. The brain is an electrical organ. It's not a chemical organ. That's right. That's and there right. are frequencies for damn near virtually everything. That's right. That's correct. And there are rings of awareness that bombard the body. And the body has got three envelopes of electromagnetic um uh, envelope surrounding it. It's got an astral body, it's got um, an etheric body, and it's got what's called an emotional body. And it's by these frequencies that they control the shell completely. It's when we are able to bypass it that we become realized and get God consciousness. But there's not too many doing that. Let me go back to the three classes of consciousness that we've got on the planet now, and you'll understand right. better. Sure. The demonic ones are the ones in charge. They are made totally of darkness. They are vicious, malicious, and they, des- they, they destroy everything, and they're self-destructive as well. They're the ones that control America, control China, but there are different classes of them, and they control all the world. They're in all the places of, um, uh, of control because this is their paradise. 
The other two classes, because we've evacuated the theomorphs, are de- uh, uh, robots, just robotic consciousnesses. Now, some of them were made by divine, with the use of some divine energy, and some of them have responded to the call by the light to self-realize, and they're, going, they're, they're called viables, and they're going to be taken off the planet. We're going to evacuate them very shortly. There's about 650 million of those, and they're the really nice people you meet who, who really can live in joy, peace, harmony, and mm-hmm. love. Mm-hmm. The other robots are just robotic, useless consciousness. They're, they're the, the useless eaters that they call, and that they're going to perish. They are nothing but shells. Now, people shouldn't get upset if I talk this way uh, because um, we've got to go beyond the emotions. The emotions are things that trap us within here. By the way, I'm speaking as a metaphysician, not as a medical doctor. Got it. This is far beyond medicine. Mm-hmm. Now, now, if you recall, I said in, in the shows, and people should go back and listen to those shows, that in 85, I'm now, the reason I've been quiet and not done many of your shows but I'll do more as time proceeds now. Uh, The reason is that I've been busy finalising the destruction of this planet, which is going to occur in between four and six years' time. And that is immutable. That's not going to change. In 85, when I um, consciously came back from the craft, we have a special craft outside of this dimension that's controlling all this, We, we gave ourselves 50 years to complete the work. So that meant that um, eight, uh, in 2035 was going to be the final date. And I had to be here for the final day for a, a very particular reason, which I'll, I'll shortly um, expose, but not just today. Now, that time, because we've been able to do things faster and faster, the, the, the final date has been coming down, down, down. In fact, on the last show we did, I said to you, it can be as close as July 2017. Now, you'll see why, how this was before Fukushima and other things occurred. Now that these things are occurred, you've got Fukushima, that if it continues the way it is, the planet won't last four years. You've got the civil war coming in America. You've got the nuclear war coming between China and the United States which I predicted to you in, in about 1991, 92 in one of the shows. Do you remember I said some of the demons uh, from America shifted over to China and they will eventually have a war? I did. They're sparring yeah. for that. And that will destroy the whole world. These people are self-destructive. Now, what we're going to do is take out, we've classified every bit of consciousness on all classes, mm. in all classes, mm-hmm. that's human, uh, animal, vegetable and mineral, into viable and non-viable. The viable ones are going to be taken out, evacuated from this dimension, either physically or after they die, after they drop the shell, and are going to another dimension that's already been prepared. The other ones are going to be transmuted. That is, they're going to go back to amorphic energy. But it's not as simple as that. They have to pay a certain price for the, for the malicious and harm they've caused others. So it's not just a simple wiping of memory. So they will get their Jews, uh, not Jews as in uh, the race, uh, Jews, D-U-E-S. Got it. Talking with Dr. Joseph Chapelone in Australia. Okay, he has unusual views on things and uh, did something many years ago with uh, wonderful Joyce Murphy who has passed on and who knows the answers now. But he did go on a trip uh, all over Mexico to very rural areas, uh, little villages, little towns that had no relation to each other, and talk to people about UFOs and ETs. And what's very, very bizarre is that, well, you tell them, Joseph, what were you told by these people? And then they were poor people, they were professional people, there were all kinds of different folks you talked to in many areas of Mexico. What did they tell you? Well, that's right. Uh, that They had had received messages from two different types of aliens. One lot had told them not to worry, they were going to fix everything up, that the Earth was going to be fine again, uh, which which is not true. Over these years, we've noticed it, it's deteriorated badly. The other, the other ones that came from the plasma crafts, now th- this is important, 
uh, told them, no, the, the earth is finished. We're selecting who can continue and who can't. And we'll evacuate those that continue. Now, Joyce Murphy had uh, never received that message from them. And I sort of prized them out of it. But that's one of the reasons why I went to Mexico, to see that the message had been received. And then uh, the, the whole process began and it became public. Now, uh, when I did this, um, the New Ages were quite against me and said, no, um, there's no evil, there's not going to be anything, the earth is going to improve and so on and so forth. And that's been shown to be a complete lie. In fact, if you want to go to the Gaia principle, that is that the earth is a living organism, which it was, you have yeah, to realize yeah. that all planets have a spiritual component. Everything, everything has a spiritual component, even though it's a false spiritual component. Now, the spiritual component of the earth has been destroyed. We're living on a dead rock. It's doomed. It cannot regenerate. doesn't matter what happens. It, it's dead. It cannot uh, regenerate whatsoever. Okay. So all these disasters that are occurring are part of the fact that it's a dead corpse. Now, the fact that it will fall on its axis, the fact that it changes polarity, uh, electrical polarity, the fact that it's going to fracture more and more, the, the, the shifts are going to occur and so on, are just part of a rotten apple breaking up. Um, besides that, the whole galaxy is breaking up because it's got to go. I've mentioned in previous uh, shows that more and more of the universe has already been uh, destroyed and we're up to 94%. When we first started um, in, in 85, I think we started shows in early 90, I said to you that about uh, just over 90% has been corrected. Now it's right. right. And there's evidence that all the planets and all the uh, systems in this galaxy that we can see uh, are fracturing. They're dying. Now, the things we're picking up with the Hubble telescope no longer exist. They're up to 10 billion years ago. There's the light from structures that were there 10 billion years ago. They no longer exist. And it says in ancient scripture, in the end time, we'll see stars falling out of the sky. What that means is those lights will go out, that there's going to be a lot of rogue comets and meteors occurring. And uh, this one, Ison and others are coming. They will eventually hit. But it doesn't matter. All these things are going to come at once. Uh, I predicted civil wars, you remember, in uh, uh, oh after 9-11. I think the day after 9-11, we did a show, and I told you it was an inside job. And that was going to be a key yeah, you to did. Uh, fracturing yeah. of the, Amer the American population. Mm -hmm. I just see recently now they've got definitive proof and they've published it that it was the Bushes that uh, and these government plus Mossad that did the whole job. That's and right. Blamed, uh, some dead. That's so right. So now this, this is going to cause a fracturing in the population of America. That's why they've made, made it a prison state. Now, the reason why America is suffering more than the rest of the world is because its karma is coming back to it. Karma is now instant. America, particularly after the Second World War, became the headquarters for this Jehovah principle. Uh -huh. Jehovah was the evil uh, principle there. Now, um, whether the Americans, uh, American people want to admit it or not, uh, America became a rogue nation very powerful rogue nation that destroyed a lot of other nations and a lot of other people. Still at the it. History is that it caused a lot of mis misery. Is that not so? No, it's still so at it. We're st it's still going strong, That's Joseph. Right. Yeah. That's right. Now you've got to go through that karma. Now, why do these demons do this? They live on the energy they can exploit. That's why this is an illicit system that must go. Mm -hmm. It can't live on its own energy. It hasn't got any energy. 